STATCOM confirms radio transmission from Raven Team. Gentlemen, insertion was successful. Our men are in position. All that's left now is the fireworks. You sure cocky about all this? It's all been thought out, rethought out, and re-rethought out. We plan for every contingency. The 666 decoder is ours. Well, not ours, really. At least not for long. Certainly not for the price Adib is paying us to hand over that little puppy. You guys are sure quick to crack open the champagne. All we've done is get men into enemy territory. They haven't even retrieved the decoder, let alone gotten out. They'll get out. With the decoder. At least cats will. You're putting a lot of stock in him, Bill. I didn't make him Raven team leader because he's got a nice smile. We can't all choose our subordinates based on whether or not we want to sleep with them. Ah, oh, hell. Are you going to keep giving me a hard time about that girl in accounting? Did you see the body on her? All right, all right. Enough of that. We're making decisions here that'll affect the rest of our lives. In less than one hour, the extraction will be complete, the decoder will be on its way here, and we gentlemen will be on a road paved with gold. As soon as we turn the device over to our Iranian friend. It's a mass.
Where's the rest of them? They're dead. Oh, we got four minutes to get in there and get that gun. Didn't you hear what I said, you son of a bitch? I feel worse about it than you do. Now stack them up! You know what you want? Where is it? One without the other, and then with the shit, but together. <laughs> together, shit. This little booger can infiltrate and seize control of any computer defense network known to man. Including Uncle Sam, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> the mother of all decoders. 50 million bucks. Time to boogie. You don't need her anymore, Wasted. We got what we came for. Waster. How'd you know? I didn't. Move! Move! 
moving! Cover! Son of a bitch! You and me, kid. You're a hell of a soldier, Mike. How's that chopper? Raven, this is my last job. I'm out. What? I quit as of now. <laughs> Glad you didn't decide that 15 minutes ago. I'm telling you, this is it. I'm out of Raven team. What are you talking about? I recruited you. The best I ever saw. I used to be the best. I can't do this any longer. You saw me hesitate. I can't kill anymore. You know what you need? You need a little vacation. So do I. <laughs> we gotta go somewhere, you know? Together. Where they wear nothing. Thong bikinis. You look good in a thong bikini. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't see the glory in killing kids anymore. We're just mercenaries. We're paid killers. Not mercenaries. Mercenaries get a hell of a lot more money than we do. We are paid government operatives. We're not paid enough. You know why they took us? Because we are the best. We were sent to get this gizmo because we are indestructible. I didn't mean to wake you. What's the matter? Dreams. Bad dreams? You want to talk about it? 
Make friends with your nightmares, Martin. I know. You and your secrets. I never met anyone with so many secrets. I just don't like talking about my past. Well, we've been together almost a year, and sometimes I feel like I don't know anything about you. How about I tell you about the dream I've been having? It's the one where... I kind of like that dream. you ever tell me about your dreams? You know, dreams tell a lot about a person. I always hear you saying things. I talk in my sleep? Sometimes. You say Raven. So I guess you're not gonna tell me? It's not for you, babe. Someday I want a family like that, Martin. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of the bubble bursting. I'm losing the best thing that's ever happened to me. I don't want to lose you. Hey, you're not going to lose me. Gotta go. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Huh. I'm buffalo hunting. What does it look like? Looks like you're watching me. Sorry, Mac. I don't know what you're talking about. You gotta bait that hook if you want to catch something. I don't remember asking for a fishing lesson. And what are you, Tarzan? The neighborhood watch? Well, we just don't get too many strangers fishing this stretch of the beach. You catch much with the Nikon reflex and the telephoto lens? You know, I don't have to talk to you. I don't have to tell you squat. I didn't know I had to get permission to do something on a public beach. It's a private beach. I'd like to keep it that way. Can I have my ball? Hey, mister, can I have my ball? Don't let me catch you here again. I knew you weren't dead. I'm gonna make this fast, so don't try to trace it, Billy Gilly. I want the other half of the decoder, and I want it now. Other half? We can get either piece. I even sent a SEAL team out to search that lake, and all we found was a wrecked chopper and the dead pilot. Okay, that's the way you want it. I'm gonna take out the four-star group, and I'm gonna take them out one at a time, you included. Or even listen to me for a minute. You won't know when I'm gonna start. When I finish, there won't be enough left for the ants to have a picnic. Sweet dreams, asshole. Cats.
You've been a real trooper, Marsha, hanging in here all these crazy hours. I'm gonna be sorry to see you go. No problem, Senator. The agency explained what was involved when they called. Although, I don't think I could do this full time. I wish you could. You're the best temp I've ever had. Hell, you're the best secretary, period. Well, Senator, thank you. But I'm sure your regular assistant is terrific. You know what I'm thinking? The least I can do is buy you a nice dinner. What's your favorite restaurant? Oh, no, Senator. Really? Now, come on, you've got to be just as hungry as I am. Let's wrap this up and go get something to eat. Senator Berg's office. Bill Gilley for the Senator. Well, I'll see if the Senator's still in. I believe he may have left already. How about the carriage house? Now that's the best restaurant on the hill. I love the carriage house. Shall I say you'll call back in the morning? Late in the morning? I'm sorry, Mr. Gelly, but I believe that he's already left. Bill. What's going on? We got a situation here. There's a plane leaving Dallas at 11.45 tomorrow morning. Be on it. What the hell are you talking about? Now, hold on. Slow down. I can't just drop everything. I've got a full plate here. I don't care about your full plate. Be on that plane and leave your little black book at home. You take the time to unzip your fly on this trip and you may find yourself dead. You're right. I am starving. I will call you on the Saudi contracts tomorrow. Okay, Doc? Hello. Adi, Bill Gilly. I told you never to call me on this phone. I've got good news. Terrific news, actually. Are you a fool? I will not discuss this matter on a cell phone. All right, we can discuss it in person. I'm free tomorrow afternoon. You are anything but free, Mr. Gilly. And we will meet when I am available. Tomorrow night. All right. I can make it tomorrow night. No problem. I'll see you then. Idiot. For you, Senator. You're late. You know, you're not supposed to keep me waiting. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry, but sorry doesn't cut it. Now get over here and undress me. <laughs> Darling, you are mm. special. Mm. <laughs> God, he's alive. Are they busy? Very busy. Well, come on, baby, you're kind of starting to scare me here. 
He's gonna kill us. What a way to go. Scared the shit out of me. You know, I'd get more for this. He was a little bull. Ripped the film right out of my camera. <laughs> Luckily, I took more than one roll. They're living together in La Jolla. He's a nine to five or a boat mechanic. Goes by the name of Martin Grant. She's a Hot little pin cushion works in the federal building downtown. The federal building? Yeah, that works on the staff of a Senator Mixton. Her name is, uh, Callie. Callie Goodwin. Why'd you take so many pictures of the broad? Pretty girl, huh? <laughs> the Senator and I go back a long way. Yeah, like I give a shit. Look, look, why don't you uh, give me my money? Let me get out of here. You got everything you want in the envelope. I'll tell you something, Cat. You give me the creeps. I give you the creeps? That's too bad. It's too bad I don't give you the runs. What the hell is this? A new diet. Hey, man, what are you doing? Come on, Cassie. I mean, I've known you since I was thin. <laughs> That's right. I'd shoot you in the belly. Take about five years to reach your heart. <coughs> I left you a nice headstone. I can't believe that crazy bastard just killed Tom. Just like that. We just played golf two weeks ago. Tom joined this new country club. He and Jenny were so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a great guy. And he knew every dirty joke. And he got laid three or four times a day. And now he's dead, which is what we're going to be if we don't figure out what we're going to do. Can you spare one of those? So, what are we going to do? I haven't the faintest idea. When he first surfaced, I thought it was good news. I thought we'd finally get off the hot seat with the D by being able to offer him something that Raven would be looking to go back to business as usual. Business as usual? For that maniac is murder. He's, he's gotten back to business as usual. Why did he turn on us? This I don't understand. Why? Because he figured out that we sent him on a one-way mission. That's why. Well, we intended for him to come back. After all, we needed the decoder. Yes, we needed him to come back. I think he knew that. I think he also knew it was the last thing we needed him to do. All right, we should feed him to Adib. We'll get them both off our backs. And I spoke with Adib. You did? When? Yesterday, before Tom got himself blown up and... I realized how flipped out Raven was. How did it go? Oh, it went great, since I thought I was going to be able to deliver the decoder to him. You told him we had the decoder? I thought we would. 
I thought Raven was just setting us up for the big bucks. Then he hung up on me, but I thought he'd call back and try to jack up the price. So yeah, yeah, I told him we would be able to deliver it. In fact, I set up a meeting for tonight. I'm ready for one of those now. Shit. In a hand cart. You'll have to keep that appointment. Me? What am I gonna say to him? I mean, does he think I have the decoder? Just do what you always do. Bullshit. You're a senator, for Christ's sake. Jeez. All right, forget it. I'll handle it myself. All right, all right. What do we do about Raven? Well, that's what we're here for. Between the three of us, we must have an IQ that totals at least 100. I think we should be able to outthink Raven. We've done it before. We should be able to do it now. Thank you for seeing me, Adib. If I'm early, I could always wait out and... Say what you have to say. I have already waited too long for you to tell me where the decoder is. Perhaps this should wait until you're through. Do not concern yourself with Miko. She speaks only Japanese. Now, where is it? I guarantee you'll have it by the end of the week. That is what you told me two years ago when I paid for it in full. And we had a setback, as I told you. We lost our whole team on that mission. But the device has been recovered. There are just a few small matters to be concluded. And the decoder is yours. A little late, but just as valuable. Perhaps even more so. You have used up all my goodwill. The entire four-star team is running on borrowed time. I only waited to see if the device surfaced somewhere else on the market. Perhaps to a higher bidder. Then you and the others would have heard from me again. Now let's not start with the threats. First of all, no one was screwing anyone here. You paid for the device, it was always coming to you. Two years late. But here, nonetheless. And by the end of the week, like I said. You have had enough time. In 72 hours, I will have the decoder which I paid for. Or you, Mr. Gilly, will have much trouble, which you have paid for. What the hell is 24 hours, more or less? Exactly. One of my assistants will call you with the particulars. Tomorrow. You finished already? Yeah, it was just the bleeder valve. I guess you're out of here, man. That I am. Got me a hot date tonight. Don't let your girlfriend find out. The year as of today. How did a bum like you end up with a sweetheart like that? Marty. What? How did a bum like you end up with a sweetheart like that? Uh, we kept bumping into each other, and she finally asked me out to dinner. Been hooked ever since. So you got a surprise for tonight? Surprise. Yeah, I'd say I have a little surprise for her. I bet you do. <laughs> Martin, it's beautiful. I don't know what to say. Yes might be a good answer. <laughs> yes. I'll marry you. Mm. Mm. Have I told you how much I love you? I think you just did. You mean the world to me. What do you say the two of us start our lives fresh somewhere else? 
What, what, what do you mean? Let's move. Anywhere you want to go. Oh, sweetheart, I, I don't want to move. This is our home. If this is about the nightmares you've been having, I have something special for you, too. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Open it. <laughs> it's a dream catcher. We can hang it over our bed, and it'll catch all your bad dreams. That's wonderful. <laughs> but tonight, Mrs. Grant, I've got a feeling my nightmares are going to be a million miles away. I hope so. Promise me something. Anything. Promise me someday there'll be no secrets between us. I knew you were still alive. Let me ask you something. You get paid by the barnacle or by the hour? You sent the fat guy with the elephant lens, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, sure you do. I thought the CIA had finally caught up to me till uh, the paper read that a private eye was found dead. And I knew it was you. Long time no see. Not long enough, Raven. Well... <sighs> You went from crack commando to Popeye the sailor. That was a great career move. Puppets. That's all we were. Great. You finally got it. You know, when they found the helicopter, they thought I was dead. Funny thing happened to you on your way to this stylish job you got. You forgot to give your half of the decoder back to the company. Well, I wish I could help you, but it kind of got lost in the water. Is that what you told him? That's good. You see, because I have the other half, and that makes us partners. We're millionaires. We've had this conversation, Raven, and you shot me. You grabbed the gun. You're doing exactly what they wanted to do, sell it. How many barnacles do you have to scrape, kid, to get millions of dollars? It's not going to happen, Raven. I don't think you know about this. A few days ago, a Senator Berg, he was wasted. It's gonna happen again. Gonna go from four star to three star to two star and then no star. Just getting rid of your competition, huh? I don't have any competition. I don't have the device. Get out of here, Raven. I've got work to do. Great to see you, kid. Just a word of advice. You know that beautiful gal that you're dating? I'd be careful if I were you. She's a bitch.
Listen up now. I mean, it's going on as we speak, bro. I'm talking about UN tanks on US soil, man. Training, practicing maneuvers. <laughs> you know, you talk too much. Well, baby, maybe you don't talk enough. I let this do my talking. <laughs> you know, Santa Eva, we got a cause going on here, baby. We stand for something, just in case you fucking forgot. What is it, Gary? You worried about me? Huh? What about you, Hub? I got no beef with you. I got some beef for you, baby. baby come on. All right, children. Put your toys down. Put them down! Go load the van. All right? We need to talk. Later. No, now! I love it when you talk rough to me. Do you? I can barely remember. Why don't we talk when the men are not around? What men? They're scum. Why don't we talk when the scum is not around? Whatever they are, they're fanatics. You know, they're fighting for this cause and that, things they don't even understand, but they will kill for them. It takes all kinds. No, it only takes one kind. Our kind. We kill for money. None of which I've seen yet. You did say more than I could ever spend. I said more than we can ever spend. If you're going to quote me, quote me correctly. There are many things I can quote you saying to me. You know the difference between us and the scum? Hmm. We know when. We know when what? We know when to shoot. We know when to lay low. We know when to pull out. We know when to let go. Now, this could mean millions, millions for us. We got one shot. I've been planning this caper for so long I can't remember. And I'm not going to let you blow it because you can't control yourself for one week or one month or however long it takes for this to go down. Now, you are a great lay, but not that great. If you believe that, I got some swamp property in Florida, I'll say. Now, got a call on the next senator. Next time. Next time. Hmm. Right. Senator, hear the demographics from the committee? Night. Good night. Carver Yonkson, may I help you? Hi, Al, it's Callie. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. Did he tell you the news? Yes, he did. Isn't it wonderful? It's great. When are you getting married? Well, we haven't set a date yet. Can I talk to Martin? Yes, hold on. Hey, Martin! Guess who? Hello. Hey, you. Hey, babe, what are you doing? Oh, not much. Financial meetings, board meetings, committee meetings. How about you? Uh, Chris Kraft, Hatteras, and Bayliners. I love you. Did you call just to tell me that? And what if it was? I'd say you made my day. <laughs> Good, then I'll see you later. You bet on it. Okay, bye-bye. Plate my knee and a plate my shoulder. Hey, you got a plate in your knee and a plate in your shoulder. 
Is there an echo in here? I think I just said that. Hello? Thank you. This delivered to the senator after his meeting and hold all my calls. Where's Katz? He's supposed to be with you. I didn't see him. Yo, I'm out. Blow it. Cats is out. Blow it. To freedom. To freedom. Too late now. I'll get that first thing in the morning. Thanks. This is WGYN Radio with a news flash. Minutes ago, the federal building located in downtown San Diego suffered a massive explosion. No word on survivors, but the casualties are mounting. Oh my God, Martin! Once again, a major explosion has rocked downtown San Diego. So far, there are four deaths. Most of the damage was localized in California Senator Wilbur Mixton's wing. It is believed his entire staff has been killed. Nice pad. Uh, uh. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You killed all those innocent people. We rang the fire alarm. 
Most of the people got out. Callie was in that building. As for Callie, I told you it was going to happen at the boat yard. You should have warned her. You're crazy. Uh huh. I am crazy. You do well to remember that. Now, where is the other half of the Dakota? I told you, I don't have it. You have it, all right. And you better start remembering where it is. Because if you don't, I'm going to start blowing up buildings. And this time, I'm not going to ring any fire alarms. I said waster! Callie was in that building. Most of the people got out. Ugh. Where is the other half of the Dakota? All right, cats. You want it? You got it. Adiv, my friend. Good to see you again. How long is it since you've been in my neck of the woods? Enough of your pleasantries. I have already been through it. It has been one year since we last met. It has been two years since I paid your group for the code breaker. And don't think that doesn't bother me just as much as it does you. Two years, and I still do not have it. I have agents working on it right now, Adiv. We're close. We're very, very close. As promised. Yeah. You had better work faster, because you do not have that much time. Wait a minute. Are you threatening me? Look. Calm down. This is supposed to be a friendly business meeting, right? Indeed. Friends don't threaten one another. All I meant was, I want the decoder or my money before the rest of you are executed. Executed? You are in a bit of trouble, my friend. Two of your associates have already been killed. Oh, but I have people looking into that. Believe me, nothing is going to happen to me. I got Scalar in my sights. Everybody set. Check. 
check. We just have to be a little patient. Just both of us, a little more patient. Just give me a little more time. All right. It's your kill shot. On your call. Always with you. Son of a bitch. What is happening? What the hell's going on? So far apart, everybody stick to business, all right? I got the center. I knew it. I told the others you didn't die in a chopper crash. I've been hearing that a lot lately. I'm indestructible. Sorry, you're not. Wait a minute. Hold it, hold it. Wait, don't get crazy. Well, there's crazy good and crazy bad. I'm crazy good. It keeps me sharp. Listen, I can still help you, Cats. I, I, I got connections, contacts, I, uh, important people. Pop quiz. Who can take this country down faster than anybody? Bzz. Time's out. Corrupt officials like you, they don't care anything about this country. They just care about themselves. So I'm taking you off the ballot. Oh, please, man. Christ, have some compassion. Compassion? Oh, I took that in night school. I failed it. Say good night. I thought that was you. Where are you? Close by. This Raven team isn't as good as we were. You're right. You did me a favor. Now I don't have so many partners. Just you and me, kid, right? 50-50? Sure. Come on out, we'll talk about it. <laughs> I don't think so. We'll talk later. Gotta run. Who are you? Who are you? The FBI? You work for the government, you scumbag? Why don't you kill me? Go ahead, do it! My fiancé was in that building. Don't take it personally. It was business. It was murder. It was part of a job. You must be proud of yourself. Killing innocent people for money. And what did you get for it? Nothing. Where is Cat's headed? You got all the king's men, but you didn't get the king himself. You should think about who you're dying for. Cat's doesn't give a shit about you. How's it feel to be used? You heard him. You're all expendable. Go to hell. Hey! Don't let them take me alive. Where is he? At base in Carlsbad. A closed down warehouse. 1500 cherry.
Thanks. It's a war zone. It was a war, Russ, with heavy casualties. We've got one dead senator, Robert Sklar. Shot at close range, execution style. A multi-billionaire oil sheik, Adib Hussein. Four dead John Doe's and one dead Jane Doe. This is a mess. Yeah, a bloody one. Let's get out of here. Okay, the commanders are connected to a group of anti-government militants. Agents in San Diego were trying to link these terrorists to the bombing last week. Okay. Now one member, Gary Alban, has a warehouse in Carlsbad. Call Jim Jacobson in Washington. Tell him I need a federal warrant to search those premises. And a SWAT team to meet us there in two hours. Two hours? Did I stutter? Touch it. Drop it, Deuce. Drop the knife! I'll put a hole right between her pretty little eyes. Thank you.
I was keeping her for my trump card. Got a great little broad there. Had a wonderful talk with her. Now she knows everything about you. I had my way with her a couple of times. You're not gonna buy that, huh? I didn't think you would. I just wanted out. Huh? Well, I just wanted the other half of this goddamn decoder! <laughs> You have the right to remain silent. boys and knots back there. Said you wouldn't talk. Cigarette? Yeah, thanks. Virginia boy, huh? Mm-hmm. In and out of detention halls? At 16, you lied about your age. Turned professional boxer. Invited by the judge to enlist in the military. Oh, yeah. At 18, you're in Vietnam. Explosives expert. Three tours of duty. Worked for the Phoenix program as an assassin. Cited for over 108 kills. Jesus. How can one man kill that many people? I was just doing what the man told me to do. And I was good at it. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you were. Two brown stars, two silver stars. Four Purple Hearts. Made a lieutenant colonel. Then in 1976, file ends. Nothing. Zip. So what did you do? Fall off the face of the earth?
my brother's place. It's the safest place I could think of. Doesn't look like anybody's home. I'd like to tell you, Ross, I really would. Because you're a very likable fellow. But, uh, that's the top secret. And, uh, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. You're a very funny guy. Yeah, I'm funny. Matter of fact, I'm opening uh, in Tahoe on the 9th. That is, if I, you know, get out of all this mess. You'll come and see me, won't you? No. What is this? Well, that. Well, that's uh, that's classified, Russ. I, I can't tell you about that. Russ, these guys are with the CIA. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Agent Carmack, I'm William Gilly. I have papers from Washington giving me custody of the suspect. Hey, Gilly, how the hand? Watch him, Russ. He's an asshole. You know this guy. I'll take that, too. Oh, this is my case. Not anymore. We'll talk outside. We bought some time. I need to think about what we're going to do next. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is your name even Martin? Is anything you ever told me true? You lied to me. Listen to me. I never lied to you when I said that I loved you. I needed to start over, Callie. I thought I could leave it behind and move on. I thought maybe if you didn't know about my past, but knew what was in my heart, everything would be okay. I was wrong. Well, Agent Carmack, you helped us a great deal. So long, Russ. I'll see that your efforts are duly noted. That isn't the biggest crock of shit you heard in your entire career. Thanks, Millie. Not one thing that man said since he parachuted into this case made sense. Of course not. He's CIA. They've got black belts and bullshit. You want to get some sushi? You know, we've busted a humps in this case, and that Agent Gilly appeared like the Prince of Darkness and snapped it off our blotters, and you want to get something to eat like it never happened. It didn't happen. Not if that's the way they want it. How much you want to bet by the time we clock in tomorrow? This case won't even be in the computers anymore. I know. How about that sushi? I'll pay. You'll pay? Did I stutter? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got it. We're on our way. All right, let's get this show on the road. We're gonna talk, Billy Boy. Get in the car, cats. Who's gonna put me in the car? Heckle and Jekyll? 
Get in the car, boys. Talk. Come on, let's talk. You got some set of balls, you know that? I heard that before, but never from a man. Did you really think you were gonna go into business for yourself and I was just gonna let you do it? Let me do it! Let me! Every mission I ever had, I set up myself. I called all the shots. You egomaniacal prick, you work for me. I backed up that mission to snatch that decoder. I provided the intel and the recon, and you were supposed to deliver it to me. It was a one-way mission, you son of a bitch. Nobody was gonna come out of that alive, and if they did come out alive, you wouldn't have let them stay alive, would you? I lost four good men over there. Four good soldiers! And I lost whatever was left of my goddamn conscience, because you killed it! Jesus. Well, no matter what you thought was happening, it looks like we're gonna be working together again. Unless you'd rather go back in there and face that federal beef. Going where? Big Bear. You got a job to finish. It'll be just like old times. You can bet on it. Hey. You're right. I should have told you everything. I'm sorry. I promise no more secrets. Is the person I fell in love with even real? Yeah. When did you lose your conscience? The moment I met you. Billy Gilly. You are an asshole. Good morning. Good morning. Water's on the stove. They got something to eat in there? <laughs> Not a whole lot. <laughs> Come here, you. Well, 
What was that? Stay here. No way. Don't look so surprised, Martin. Deep inside you knew something was wrong, didn't you? You just didn't face it. Turn around. I do, sir. Keep going back like a song. More like the clap. <laughs> I tell you the difference between me and the clap. What's that? Get rid of the clap. <laughs> That's very amusing, boys. You two didn't really think the company was just going to forget about Raven Dean, did you? You made history with your kill ratio. But come on. Mercenaries can't quit. It just doesn't happen that way. You are easy to keep tabs on, Grant. Fuck you, Bill. I wouldn't exactly call a year of deep cover work easy, especially living with this guy. He's a fucking nut. I told you. She's a bitch. You know, I don't get guys like you. They sent me in to gain your trust. They thought you'd be tough to get close to. <laughs> what a no-brainer. What took you so long, Callie? Why didn't you just kill me when you found me? Oh, you know the answer to that one, Grant. You two have something we want. Your last mission was to obtain a Soviet 666 code breaker for Washington, but somehow Washington never got it. Washington was never gonna get it. Who are they? Billy Gilly. I want to introduce you to the man behind the Raven team. As a planner of covert operations, no one can touch you. As a human being, nobody wants to. And thanks to you, Cat's the last surviving member of Four Star. What does that make you? The Lone Star? We want the device, Grant. I don't know what you're talking about. I remember somewhere somebody told me that if you don't have both devices, it's not worth a shit. Well, that's too bad because I destroyed it. No, you didn't. I smashed that piece of shit in a thousand pieces. That was a $50 million device. It's worth a lot more than that on the international market. Isn't it, Billy Gilly? Shut up. Now tell me the truth, Grant, and I'll let you live. <laughs> I told you to shut up. Now where is Grant? Would you like me to shoot him again? Okay, you can have it. It's in my duffel bag in the back of my truck. Smart decision, Grant. See, Callie isn't as dumb as you said he was. <laughs> Watch them closely. Cross off of them, make it look like they shot each other.
Come on. Oh. oh, shit, Raven. It's just a flesh wound. Well, we did good, Deuce. But we both got screwed. No, we didn't. They didn't. for me. Makes you wonder, don't it? Yeah, whatever. 